relationship to relationship, job to job. That little girl grew up to be me. I am that young woman. Um, when I was younger, uh, my mother did the best she could with what she had. Even still, I was passed around from house to house, family member to family member. <clears throat> and with that, I gained identity and, and, and self or facades from whoever I could. No real established purpose, not knowing who I was. Um, but that was me. Um, it wasn't until I, I just lost my time. <laughs> it wasn't until I started a job at a staffing agency where I was a personnel supervisor, was basically a recruiter. And I met other young people, to middle-aged people, to older people that were like me. It wasn't until I met one young lady who came in to me for an interview. She was wearing a <coughs> wearing six-inch heels, an evening gown to the floor, and a diamond tennis bracelet, stating that she was looking for work. And I went to ask her, I said, baby, what are you doing? And she said, I want a job. I said, what is your purpose or your dream? I don't know. And then I met another young man, a little older, in his 30s, coming in for an interview in slides, and uh, just got out of prison a few months ago for marijuana possession, and him saying the same thing, I don't know where I, my purpose, I don't know. And then also meeting a 60-year-old woman who's getting back into the workplace, not knowing um, where she's going and who she is at this stage of her life, not knowing her purpose. I realized that <clears throat> all of those persons, with hundreds more that I met, were just like me, or just like how I was, not having or not knowing my purpose. Having employees frustrated with me and being one of the reasons why we have such high turnover. Um, I could say at that point, that's when I jumped into who I was supposed to be. I jumped into my purpose. But I continued to work for others, and I, going, I went on to higher experiences, <coughs> recruiting nationally from state to state. It wasn't until I lost my job in 2016 where then I was thrust into purpose. I started EAP People Corporation. <coughs> now, uh, there, I'm living the dream by helping others find purpose, discovering themselves, taking off the facade, helping them to, <coughs> helping them to uh, let go of the past and embrace company culture. Um, I am Ebony Preche, and I am living my dream. Keep talking, you have a minute. Oh. <laughs> oh, keep talking. You took something out. I took something out. Um, I realized the frustrations that employees were having with, um, with individuals because I realized the same frustration they were having they had with me. So by bringing my experiences and my past and connecting the dots to people and linking employees to candidates and making sure that the candidates are where they need to be now, making sure that they're vetted and have an understanding and be able to embrace company culture no matter where they go, but that they're walking in the purpose that um, they're set here, or they're, they're put here, that God has put them on the road. I don't know if that's amazing. Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, I don't like sitting down. I lose my thing. Okay.